And so our first game of the evening is Inspector Waffles, which is a little cut off, but that's okay. But this is Inspector Waffles. And it is currently available on PC. And it is going for the lovely price of $12.99 USD. And you can pick this up on Steam or GOG. I'd like to also take the time to thank the developers for providing me with a free copy of Inspector Waffles to play on tonight's stream. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to continue the game I've already been playing. Um, so this is Inspector Waffles. Um, and his mom was an inspector before him. And she kind of wanted him to have a desk job, but he chose to be an inspector. And so right now we are currently investigating the... Um, death of a cat named patches and so we are in patches's home looking for clues and whatnot now as always again um this is a point and click adventure game and like most point and click adventure games i can't open this door this handle is missing did we maybe pick up a handle let me look and see can i use it here there's nothing to put on it okay um, so we kind of went up in his room and we kind of, um, it's kind of fragile. I kind of want to break it. I mean, I won't, but my animal instincts are kicking in pretty strong right now. But, um, this is a sculpture from a long time ago. And so, um, as I was saying, we're, um, trying to solve his death. And um, I did put it on the mode for it would give us kind of hints to kind of move us along. But there is two modes for this. There is a mode that helps with additional hints. And then there is a mode in which you don't get the hints. So it plays like a traditional point and click. Uh, this is a sculpture from a long time ago. Probably 9th century. Southern Doggo, if I'm not mistaken. Just call me Lola Cross. Oh my goodness, the puns. Nah, just kidding. I know nothing about archaeology. Okay, so I don't want to really go and I can't go here, right? What's in here? It's the bathroom. Perfume. Le Petit Chateau Parisian. A lady's fragrance by Yves Jet Laurent. So cliche. Cliche. Why would Fluffy Oh no, I'm sorry, we're, we're investigating Fluffy's murder. I'm sorry, I said Patches, but it's Fluffy's. Patches is his chief, is Inspector Waffle's chief. And welcome, Longplay, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you back. <laughs> yeah, I said that wrong. We're investigating Fluffy's death, and Fluffy was like a really rich cat, apparently. Uh, someone else must have left here. Perhaps it belongs to Fluffy's lover. That is true, because um, we found in Fluffy's room, and definitely not Patches, I stand corrected, we found in Fluffy's room, why is this towel different? There's a little hole in this towel. There's something on the other side. Maybe if I give it a pull. Aha, uh -huh, a hideout. He is hiding books everywhere, isn't he? A hidden book. Why is there a book in here? Maps of cat. Zakistan, 18th century. Who's interested in books like this? Uh, litter box. It's not going to, I'm not going to check for clues in a litter box. Oh, you got fried rice? I don't hate myself enough for that. Okay, let's see. Let's save our game real quick because we did get some um, new clothes. And then we're gonna go and check out our clues. So Fluffy was, but was he alone? We don't know that. Cause we found, um, I don't know if we found everything in here though, stereo. I don't know any of these bands. Maybe I need to get out of my office from time to time. Okay, so we, looks like we did get everything out of here. Now we're gonna go back Downstairs, that was the bathroom. I can't go in here because the door handle is missing. A buzz. There is 
the first time I've ever seen one outside of a museum. Fancy, fancy. There's a hole in the mall, but for what? I'm afraid if I get too close, I'll spray poison at me or something. Um, can we put this here? It's not working. Okay, so no. Can I not, like... It's not working. I don't want to go outside. Let's go back upstairs and see if it's something that I can do up here. Um, photos, black and white photos of Cat Town for almost a century ago. They were starting to build skyscrapers. The city was booming at this time. I wonder if these cats would have enjoyed living here today. And then I can't go in here. Is there anything? It's not working. I feel like I need to, like, get something out of here. It's not working. It's not working. Um, maybe go back outside? Let me see. Top floor. Did you find a way to get to the top floor? Please feel free to use me for inter interrogation practice. Talk to me like you would any other person of interest. As you explore, you'll gather items and write down clues on your notepad. After that, you can ask me the next unanswered question on your list. And from there, you might need to show me items and clues that are somehow relevant to the questions. Eventually, you have asked enough questions to know where to go next. Um, Fluffy was alone. Perhaps I should mention a different clue or item. This clue is irrelevant to what we're currently discussing. Okay. So that's not helping. Maybe another time. Fluffy knew how to have fun. I'm not going to play with it even if I really want to. A cat searching through trash cans. I'm such a cliche. Nothing special inside except for this broken screwdriver. Waffles, I almost forgot. If you want to see more about an item in your inventory, you can right-click on it. I don't know exactly what that means, but I bet it's useful for learning more. But if you're just picking up trash during your investigation, maybe not so much. Actually, no. I want to see now if I can combine the skateboard wheel with the screwdriver and use it for the handle to the door now is what I want to see. Like, I'm wondering if you can combine items in this. Because that, that makes sense to me. Maybe I can create a door handle using this wheel and this screwdriver. I thought so. I'm like, yeah, that would make sense. Let me try. Okay, it fits perfectly. So now we have a handle. So let's go and grab the handle. I made a door handle. Now to see what's behind this door. I'm like, that makes sense. Okay, oh, and then those two books we grabbed, they go in here. Every rich guy has his own library, and it doesn't contain even a single comic book. So, we got that blue book, which goes here. I wonder if I, what happens if I put this book back in its rightful place. And again, tonight's discussion question is, what would be the coolest animal to scale up to the sides of a horse? Okay, I thought of what. What about a seahorse? <laughs> like, what if you made a seahorse? Could you ride it in a sea if you did that? I heard a little click, but nothing else happened. A tardigrade? I'm not sure I know what that is. I have to look that one up, because I'm not sure. Right, a seahorse the size of a regular horse. My sister said a chinchilla when I asked her. He did, I do believe. A secret door. I wish I could afford to have one put in, I put in at my place. But why hide access to an entire floor of your home? See, I, right? Could you imagine that? Like, oh, I just kind of want to go over to this little island over here, which is, you know, can only get there by ferry boat, or, or you could go by seahorse. Like, I, I choose the seahorse just because. Why not? This case is going to be really interesting. All right, let's go check out this room. A secret office. What was he hiding in here? Piano. Yeah, no. Nocturne Opus 9, number 2. Claw pin. One of my favorites. Too bad I don't know how to play the piano. Uh, 
Okay, that's a window. Well, cats need this for comfort. Both of us want to stay clean and healthy. I, on the other hand, just want a glass of strong milk. Oh, a lucky break. There's a hair sticking to one of the blades of grass. Cool. Grab the hair. Well, well, well. This hair doesn't belong to Fluffy. It looks like a dog's hair, but I can't be certain. What's on the board? Only a single piece of paper left. Mouse tails, duck grease, salmon. It's a grocery list. Fluffy clearly enjoyed good food. But why is there a grocery list pinned up in his office? Seems like that should be in the kitchen. I don't like one I don't understand. I'm taking it with me. No this found. Everything was recently erased. Papers. Hmm, there's something interesting here buried among all these papers. Someone's written, I can't keep hiding these two books every time. I would like a door that I can open electronically, quickly and easily. Can you do that for me? Thanks. Unfortunately, there's no delivery name or address. What's in the drawers? There are plenty of useless papers. Electricity bills, installation CD, piano lesson, an insult letter. Wait, what? Someone named Erwin sent this letter a week ago. And curiously, among all other bars, a platypus. I didn't know it could be used as an insult. All right, and then the window. I saw this broken window from the outside. Someone pushed him out of the window. It's strengthened glass. Whoever did this was very strong. There's a bathroom in here as well, looks like. So this is how Fluffy got usually got to his office. Probably in how the killer escaped too. I have to tell Patches about this. Okay. So let's go down here and talk to Patches, our boss, and not the person who has been killed. All right, Patches. Waffles, did you find a way to get to the top floor? Please feel free to use me. Okay, I did all of that before. Um, there's a secret office. I found a secret office on the top floor, Chief. A lot of blood, too. We need to get forensics up there. Do you think the murderer knew about the office? Could he have gotten in on his own? It's hard to say. He could have been invited in or just knew how to gain access. Looks like this is turning into quite the case, Waffles. Seems that way, yes. And nothing about it is going to be cut and dry. Try to be a bit more optimistic, Waffles. We've solved our fair share of tricky cases in the past. I don't think now is the time for optimism, Chief. There's a dead body five feet from where we're standing. Perhaps you're right. We can celebrate once we solve the case. Where is the witness, Chief? In front of our house on the street. So... What are we waiting for? Let's go and ask her some questions. Give me a minute. I need to finish my milkshake first. Seriously? That's the most important thing right now. I really can't think straight until I have my milkshake. Let me enjoy it slowly, Waffles. And don't you go ruin it like you did last time, talking about salty fools while I'm drinking a milkshake. Respect the shake, Waffles. Okay. <laughs> Something salty. Um, okay. This item doesn't help with the question. Um, maybe I need to mention a different clue. Okay. And then that was the letter, right? Mouse tails, duck grease. What are you doing to me? Not this again. Can't you see that I'm enjoying my milkshake right now? Chief, I'm just sharing a clue with you. I found a grocery list in the secret office. Waffles, do you think I'm stupid? No, of course not. Just sharing the information. Doug Grease and Milkshake, blah. It's hard to be a gourmet or gourmet nowadays. You are disgusting, but you're still drinking your milkshake. You can't stop me this time. Let's go, Waffles. <laughs> Kind of cute. Oh no, Lumo the reporter is already on the scene. This cat is suspicious. 
He's always, he always knows more than he should. Always the first reporter to arrive at a crime scene. How does he do it? Even an inspector, is it true that Fluffy has been murdered by a dog? We'll provide a statement as soon as we think it's necessary. Come on, Patches. Give me, a, give my reader something. We have no idea if the murderer was a dog. Maybe it was a dragon or a unicorn. <laughs> Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, Patches. But thanks anyways for the tip. What? I didn't give you a tip. Chief Patches, you just told him that you know Fluffy was murdered. We hadn't released that information yet. Oh. Hmm, well, let's uh, keep that little slip of secret from the higher-ups. Alrighty. Got it, Lumo? Waffles, let's go. You see that cat over there? That's the witness. Maybe she can help us out. Alrighty. And we are going to save our game here. <laughs> Let's save it here, just in case. And we are going to return to the main menu. Because that is Inspector Waffles. And again, if you liked what you saw of Inspector Waffles, you can pick it up on PC. It is currently going for $12.99, and it is available on Steam and GOG.com. So if you're into a DRM-free version of the game, then you can pick it up from GOG.com as well. And again, thank you to the developers for providing me with a free copy of Inspector Waffles. I'm really enjoying this one, so 